You are listening to part 50 of the podcast series, How Successful People Think. Stick with one system and monitor results continually. One of the ways organizations get into trouble is they try to mix systems. Many different kinds of systems can be successful, but mixing different systems or continually changing from one to another leads to failure. When it comes right down to it, no matter what your bottom line is, you can improve it with good thinking. And bottom line thinking has a great return because it helps you to turn your ideas into results. It can help you to reap the full potential of your thinking and achieve whatever you desire to do. Here's a thinking question for you. Am I staying focused on the bottom line so that I can gain the maximum return and reap the full potential of my thinking? Putting bottom line thinking into action. How much have you thought about your own bottom line? Do you know why you're doing what you're doing in your career? Have you figured out what you're trying to accomplish in your family life? If someone asked, would you be able to tell him for what purpose you've been put on this earth? Your life can be more fulfilling and your thinking can be more fruitful if you know your purpose. Give some thought to each of the following six areas to determine what your bottom line is for each. Career, marriage, parenting, recreation, service or ministry, and life purpose. Don't feel bad if you don't have perfect clarity on all of these issues. It takes most people years to figure it all out. This exercise is merely a starting point. Choose a major goal in your life or career that you strongly desire to achieve. Take time to write that goal down. Then, set aside a block of time this week to determine what the bottom line is for this goal. Remember to make sure that the bottom line is the point not a substitute for another unstated goal or just a step toward it. Once you've figured out what the bottom line is, write it down also. Your next step is to develop a strategy for accomplishing the bottom line. What are the core elements required to achieve it? What are the major objectives? Break it down to the most fundamental parts. Now determine what kind of help will be required to achieve the goal. Can you do it alone? Will it require the aid of friends or colleagues? Will you need to start your own organization to do it? Is there an organization that already exists that you can join to accomplish it? Your next step will be to align the people with the strategy for achieving the bottom line. Then you will be ready to move forward. 